Hello, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers, bringing you news and information from people making a difference in our communities. I'm Beverly Weaver, and joining me now is Nancy Lewis, the Executive Director of the Colorado Organization for Victims Assistance, or COVA, as many people know it. Welcome, Nancy. Thanks for coming in. Well, thank you. Let's begin with a quick overview of what COVA does in the community. Well, COVA is a membership agency of all those people who deal with crime victims. So district attorneys, um, corrections, domestic violence shelters, rape crisis lines, child advocacy centers. And we act as a, an umbrella to work with legislation and training to make sure that people in the state have adequate skills and tools when they're dealing with crime victims. And really a lot of your key message is understanding your rights as a crime victim. You kind of think that that normally falls into place, but often it doesn't, Nancy. Most people don't understand that they have rights, and Colorado is particular in that we have a constitutional amendment that was passed by 82% of the people. Um, and what our amendment says is that you, if you are a victim of crimes against person, that you have the right to be notified of the defendant's hearings. You have the right to um, be present anytime the defendant can be released. Uh, you have the right to some sometimes compensation for mental health or doctor bills, things yeah. like that. Yeah, and that is uh, true that a lot of people also don't know how to access services because they get in a situation and they maybe perhaps don't want to reveal it to anyone. Is that another tough thing that you, you find? Oftentimes, and oftentimes that's a, that's a cultural thing. For instance, with domestic violence in some cultures, it's, it's not okay to report that. Um, and our domestic violence shelters, um, people don't have to go to law enforcement to, to access services. So um, we have a website which they can, all the services in Colorado are listed, or to pick up their phone book and, and call 211 and ask, uh, you know, ask for domestic violence shelters or... Right without having to report somebody to the right. police. Right, Yeah. And in terms of how Colorado differs from other states, it sounds like we do some fairly unique things as well in terms of crime victims. Well, um, if your rights are not met, we have uh, an agency where people can have a conversation with somebody um, so that, number one, they can help change the system so that it doesn't ever happen to another crime victim. Hmm. We also have a legal clinic in Colorado, and there's only seven other states that have legal clinics. And that allows somebody, while a case is going on, to make sure that their, their rights are accessed. And that, that, for instance, if they weren't notified, um, they could make sure that the law enforcement or the district attorney's office was notifying them of hearings that were coming up. Yeah, you think about the shooting of the congresswoman down in Tucson, and you think about the number of people. Are all those people really crime victims who were at that scene? Um, it, it depends on sort of how that's allocated, and I can go back to Columbine, mm -hmm. was that um, at the time Columbine happened, everybody that was a member of that school system, so janitors, um, uh, librarians, everybody was considered a crime victim. Huh. Um, we also have teams in Colorado that if if Tucson were to have happened here, that we would be doing debriefings with people who were in the shopping center at yep. the time mm. um, to make sure that they understood trauma. One of the things that happens for people is um, crime is a very traumatic event and they don't understand what's happening to them yeah. and um, don't understand that they're having a normal reaction to an abnormal event. Yeah. And so that um, we would have teams helping them through that and uh, making a judgment if they needed more help than just the debriefing. Exactly. How can people get involved and help? Well, I think there are a lot of ways. Uh, certainly we're seeing diminishing funds, so if people wanted to make a donation to domestic violence or um, child, child abuse, they could do that. Um, also, there's all kinds of volunteer opportunities. Uh, every law enforcement agency, I would say every, most law enforcement agencies in Colorado have a volunteer thing. Um, every domestic violence shelter mm -hmm. has a domestic violence shelter. So yeah. getting those people to call and volunteer is real critical. Helpful. And where can people go to get more information on COVA? Um, we have a website, www.coloradocrimevictims, with an S, dot org. All right. Nancy Lewis, the Executive Director of the Colorado Organization for Victims Assistance, or COVA, thanks for being with us. Well, thank you very much. And thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Beverly Beaver.